your page? No, no, no. Please. No, no, no. Oh. No, no. Tom. No, no, no. T -O -P -E Tom. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day in my life. Now today's video is really like a couple of days in my life, maybe more like a week in my life. And it was very exciting because Dan's parents got to finally come to town, hang out, meet Logan, and we just had a really great time. There's also a lot of stuff just going on around our house, construction Dan's working on, activity in the greenhouse. I've also been reading with Logan lately and that's been really sweet. So I'm just gonna share a bunch of things like usual. And with all of that being said, let's hop right in. Hey guys, so I wanted to hop in this video really quickly to give a quick shout out and thank you to today's sponsor of this video and that is Josie Marin. I am a huge Josie Marin fan. As you guys know, I've kind of told little stories here and there of how I discovered her brand, but I have a really personal connection to her stuff. Josie Marin's products are vegan, cruelty-free, no synthetics, no parabens, all of the good things, and her products that have a scent to them are the most beautiful scents. Like if you're someone who's a little bit more sensitive to smells like I am, I just think that her scents are beautiful and lovely and light. And obviously because there are no synthetics, her smells are more natural. I did a full on Josie Marin spa night the other night and I was obsessed and Dan was obsessed with how good and clean I smelled and my whole body just felt so moisturized and amazing and I just love her stuff. Also, Josie Marin has some incredible holiday gift packages that honestly, I would be so excited to receive and anyone in your life that loves beauty and clean living, I think would love these gifts. I really trust the brand and I think that you will love her stuff. So I'm obsessed with these holiday gift kits. Use the link down below to check out the holiday gifts on their site as well as on the Sephora site. I know that anyone you buy them for, including yourself, will love them. And with all of that being said, let's keep going in the video. Now you're gonna see that this video is like kind of all over the map and we're starting with my very cute dog, Bowser, AKA mini horse. And down in the left corner, you can kind of see Zoe. Um, but yeah, we were sitting at the table playing a game and I just thought he looked cute. So I was actually introduced to Rummy Cube by Dan's parents. That's who you're seeing here. By the way, Dan and his family have really turned me and my family on to more games in general. And Rummy Cube is one we've been playing for years now and we love it. Side note, I've been experimenting a lot with food lately and I made this cranberry salsa, thought it sounded like a brilliant idea. I think it was, but I definitely ruined it the first time around. Now, something I did not ruin was this kettle corn popcorn. Um, basically, the way we made it is we popped some popcorn and then on the stove top, we heated up a little bit of maple syrup, date syrup, vanilla extract, salt, you know the drill, drizzled that over the popcorn. And then I had to step away and show you how cute Logan and Grandpa looked together. All right, back to the popcorn. Uh, we basically spread this all over a baking sheet and then put it in the oven to crisp up a little bit and allow the natural sugars to caramelize more. By the way, spoiler alert, this was a hit. Everybody loved it. <laughs> This week, we pretty much just hung at the house. We did, however, go out and pick up Moss Tacos one day. I've mentioned it a few times. It's a Mexican place here in East Nashville that we frequent. So yeah, lately, which I honestly 
don't go very often out to eat in general anymore, maybe once or twice a month, but I have been getting their chicken tacos and their beef tacos when I do go. Okay, this is all coming back to me like as I'm recording this voiceover. We really wanted to go thrift shopping on this day. It became very evident during this week that Logan was going through a large growth spurt. Um, to those of you that don't know, Logan is literally like at the very highest weight range for his age. So he needed some new clothes. So we made our way to the Goodwill to just, yeah, check out some warmer clothes that are more of an appropriate size for him. So I ended up buying some things that fit him now, but I also bought some things that will hopefully fit him in the upcoming months. I didn't get as much warm stuff as I wanted, but I did get some really cute stuff. This was not all of it, by the way. I actually have thrift shopped for Logan twice in the last month. And so I think it's in an upcoming video. I think I filmed the few other things I picked up for him. Anyways, I was kind of going through the things that I had thrifted that day because I had also gotten a couple of things for myself. And so I just was kind of organizing things, taking tags off, pulling together my loads of laundry to start. Also, look at these baby pants. I literally can't handle it. All right, so now we are fast forwarding to bedtime. So this, oh, it's honestly one of my favorite things that I do with Logan now is this specific nighttime routine. So I had already taken a bath with him. I still love baths. That still is my favorite. But we recently got this glider. I showed it to you. Dan picked it up for me on Facebook Marketplace. And this is what we do in it. We head to the bedroom, turn on the fan, the sound machine, the oil diffuser. We cuddle up under a blanket. I pick a book and we read it. Honestly, with everything going on in the last few months, we often will just hop in the car and drive with no place to go. Just listen to some music, enjoy the air, see some new surroundings, and I'm pretty sure that's what we were doing on this day. I don't quite remember, but I think we just took a drive. All right, so if you saw my last day in my life, then you know that we built a greenhouse. I say we, it was really Dan, but I lended a hand, so I want to say we built a greenhouse. Um, but I'm pretty excited because it just feels like I can't believe summer gardening is done. And even though my brain is already starting to think about you know, seedlings and things that we'll be growing in the next season, I really want to grow now. And so having this greenhouse, oh snap, by the way, he was trying to eat the dirt. So mom goals. <laughs> oh no, I was very worked up. Anyways, having this greenhouse where I think we're going to be able to grow quite a few things for quite a few months um, is pretty exciting. So as I was saying in the last video, we were really just setting up. So on this day, I wanted to actually get the seeds in the ground. So that's pretty much what I did. That was my goal, just to get everything planted. Now, fast forward, I feel like this was just last week and so many of the seeds have already sprouted and I'm so excited to just see you know, what survives, what grows well, and just learn more about greenhouse gardening and really how you use it in general. You guys know that we really don't know what we're doing with any of this. We're just people who are really interested in learning more about and being more involved in nature and creation in general. That's basically just me reiterating that we don't know what we're doing, but I'm very excited to be continuing this process forward.
So even though I said I've been experimenting with a lot of cooking, it's weird, right? In some ways, I also haven't. I've been eating a lot of deviled eggs lately, as well as my gluten-free bread that I've been baking. And this has just been a super easy go-to meal slash snack for me when I just need to get some food in. Now, on this day, we also pulled out one of the lasagnas that we had made. Actually, when Dan's parents were in town, we made this. Now, unfortunately, this thawed horribly. These were brown rice noodles, uh, so I don't recommend making frozen lasagna with brown rice noodles. Um, like, I think it might be one of the worst things I've ever made, to be honest. Like, the flavor was off, the noodles were off, it just... I don't even think it was that great when his parents were in town, honestly. But uh, that was another rant just to say, like, sometimes experiments in the kitchen go well, sometimes they don't. Now, a lot of you guys have been following the saga of our house extension for like the last year. This was initially a patio and we decided to make it an actual room and Dan has been doing all of the work by himself. So I wanted to give you an update today. Buddy. Also, my sleepy baby goes from lots of giggles to completely checked out to sometimes crying. Depends on the level of tiredness happening. <laughs> All right, so another thing that I did on this week, because I still do this twice a week, is I trained with my chiropractor, Dr. Mark Wetzler at East Nashville Chiropractic. He has been awesome to work with. I've said this so many times. And also, look at how cut my abs are. Like, not to brag, I can't, I mean, I can't really brag anyways. And also, in a lot of ways, my abs are still separated from pregnancy. But also, I've been working pretty hard over the last like eight or nine months. And so I'm not gonna lie, when I saw this footage, I was like, yo, those are my abs. And Dan was all impressed too. <laughs> but on that note, I know I mentioned this a second ago, my abs are definitely still separated. And I'm really interested to see if and when and how they potentially come back together. By the way, I get so many questions about this blanket. This is from my mom's blanket company called Don't Freak It's Faux. I will leave her link down below as well as my discount code. I'm pretty sure this is just another drive. Fall happens really fast around here. So, I mean, I try to get out all year round to go just like see nature and see how the different trees around the neighborhood are changing. But especially in fall, you can blink and it's gone. The leaves become so vibrant and then the winds blow them off so fast. So they go from being these beautiful, vibrant fall trees to winter trees, so I was very hyped to capture all of this footage. So that is it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Josie Marin for sponsoring this video. I just want to reiterate, literally this is a dream come true. I'm obsessed with her brand. Don't forget to check the info box for today's extra special giveaway, and I will hopefully see you back here soon with another video. Bye guys.